Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome back to another frugal vlog. Hope you guys are doing well and you're taking care. I kind of came out on a mission today. Uh, it has been very hot and I love the heat, but I've also been feeling a little kind of stuck where I'm at. So obviously I've been looking to get into some transportation. I don't drive tuk-tuks. I don't really feel comfortable on a scooter, but I do feel comfortable on a bike. So I was hopping online, looking at the Facebook marketplace and stuff and then i just did a search for uh, bike stores and this place where i'm at let me just say a little checking i think it's called peeny i think it's yeah peeny p-h-e-a-n-y uh a, a lot of good reviews on it good uh they have lots of used bikes so i popped in and uh i had a kind of a budget in mind for what i wanted to spend and they have tons of used bikes here so I'll show you guys the one for what we got, and I'll show you what I ended up picking up. So, so here we are at the front of the store. Let me do something real quick. There we go. Turn off face detect. So yeah, they got tons of bikes right on the main street here. Not too far from where I'm at. Uh, 20, 25 minute bike walk. So, but they have all these city bikes, which is the ones that I have seen all over the place for rent and stuff. And I think ranged in price from 60 to 75. There was a couple that were like 90 bucks. It depends on the make and model and everything. They have mountain bikes and everything here too. So huge selection. But me being me and being the oddball, uh, I asked, or just they were showing me some of the other stuff that they had. And I saw this. He's working on it right now. It's his, what do you call this bike? The type? Sorry? What do you call this type of bike? Strange? Maybe it's strange. Uh, I'm not sure the, the name of it. I've never seen one like these before. With the small <laughs> wheel at the back and big wheel at the front. <laughs> I love these. Yeah. Only one in Siem Reap, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the only me in Siem Reap, so. Yeah. But yeah, this is the bike I've decided on. So it's got... Little tiny, tiny wheel in the back, and then a big wheel. Um, when I was a kid, we had um, a toy called a big wheel, and it was like a motorcycle, but you sit, and it had little wheels in the back, and a great big huge wheel in the front. Oh, yeah. And that's what this reminds me yeah, of. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, uh, paying 50 bucks for it, so they're fixing it up, putting a basket and light and everything on it too, so. I just take you guys on a quick walk throughout the store. They have tons of bikes. The couple running the place, very friendly, very lovely. Uh, she, they speak English very well, so I don't know if that's an issue for some folks. Uh, not an issue for me, I was ready to translate, but they have an assortment of new and used bikes. But yeah, the one that I was looking at was just over here in the corner. She'd walk me down, there was a used bike back here that was blue, that was $60 that we were looking at. And then when we were walking out, I saw this bike. And I guess, go with the name Strange Bike, something. Um, I, I fell in love with it almost immediately. Um, I'm, I'm a weirdo, man. Like, I'm, I've, I've, I've never been a normal person. <laughs> so to see a bike that kind of suits my personality. And like she was just saying, I'm gonna be the only one in CM Reap. So I'm okay with that. Uh, I'll be recognized for my cowboy hat and now my bicycle. So I'm excited. You have a lot of bikes. <laughs> so yeah, I was back home. I have a, uh, a folding bike. So I'll show you here. This little bike here reminded me of my bike back home. And I was looking at it. But the problem is, is that the seat on this one, that's as high as it would go. So it was a little too short for me. Otherwise I would have probably grabbed that bike. I like, I got hooked on the little wheels with uh, my bike back home. So, but yeah, I'm so stoked. He said, I didn't really have any huge plans. I, I wanted to look at bikes and see what the cost of something was. And I wasn't too sure how it was going to be. Um, but to find one as uh, inexpensive as it is, and I'm very happy having uh, 
a bike. I, I, I was hoping to get like up to about 60, $65 is where my, you know, my comfort zone was. Uh, when they offered 50 for that one, I was just like, it just kind of rang out. I'm like, oh, I'm going to have to buy it. So, yeah, there you go. I hope you guys, uh, again, another short one. I'm going to have to get a uh, mount or something for the bike. But I will be doing some tours now that I have a bicycle, so you can expect. I think the chest mount thing that I have that goes on my neck should be handy. Give us some point of view stuff. Uh, and then I think the 360. I just have to get a clamp for the bike that has a quarter inch thread. And I can attach all kinds of different stuff to it. So we'll, we'll, I don't know if I can find one of those in Seam Reap, but I will do my best to find a bike. I have like three of them back home in Canada. I just didn't bring any with me because I didn't think I was going to be buying a bicycle. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you do like my content, please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. And as always, there'll be a link over here. It's another one of my videos. Uh, right there. Right, things right there. I'll see you guys soon. Take care, buddy. Bye.